I would describe Chester as a place of tremendous history for the state of Pennsylvania. Chester was once a great city. It had manufacturing, it had retail, it had arts, it had department stores, it had everything um, that a small city in Pennsylvania should have. All of that left. I would describe Chester as challenging, but nurturing at the same time. I've lived in Chester all my life. Uh, I've gone to school in Chester. Um, I've graduated from the high school. I think I would like to see Chester get back to a thriving business center that it used to be. In order to revive, Chester needs, first and foremost, a really strong educational system. So the Chester Charter School for the Arts really came into existence because there was a group of people who were concerned about ensuring that children in the city had a great opportunity to learn and had a program that was really designed specifically for them and for their needs. And the arts became a central piece of that because of the ability for students to be able to express themselves and be creative and think critically across arts disciplines as well as their academic areas. Arts integration, simply put, is the combining of a traditional academic subject with an artistic discipline to deepen and broaden understanding. The purpose of an arts integrated curriculum is not necessarily to create dancers or poets, but it's to give students a framework to help them figure out what lens they use to look at the world. So there's something about this school that is different. There's just an expectation of community and respect and how you just interact with people. The children are at the center and at the core of everything that we do. And that's visually represented in the fact that when you walk through our hallways, the wallpaper is quite simply the work of children. You can tell walking up and down the halls that the, the children feel safe, they're happy. They're just so excited to be here because the teachers are welcoming and loving and, but we're tough. Um, you know, we'll remind you when you're a little too exuberant. You gotta rein it in and focus. That combination of love and rigor will allow all children, including our children, to thrive, to be the best they possibly can be. I like being pushed because it helps me to work harder. It motivates me to want to do better, to become all I can be in whatever I do. I think it is good if we, they have high expectations for us because with other people looking at you like that, it helps you become a stronger leader. I've never been in a school where so many students are excited and on fire for literacy. And they come off the school bus reading, they're in the hallways reading, they're under tables reading, there's libraries in every classroom. As a result, our student scores, as measured by the state standardized tests, are the top in the district. My kids have been here pretty much throughout their scholastic career. Their grades have been great, which I'm grateful for, but I'm more concerned on the type of young ladies they're becoming and growing into. And I think it starts with the leadership. I think Ms. Watts sets a standard of character, and all the staff and faculty follow suit. I I really think the school teaches the children that they are a part of the community and that they can help the community grow. So the primary reason why we decided to build a new campus at this time was, was out of necessity. We're in a space that we've been in for now four years, next year will be our fifth, and we're quite simply bursting at the seams. And I think it's fabulous that we're able to design it from scratch for our needs. So we have all of the spaces in the right place, efficiently um, and beautifully created so that people feel good about the work they're doing. Every time somebody says the new building, I just get excited. This is a new school just for us. Um, I think what that says to a community and what that says to a student uh, is inspiring. Well, it and says you believe in me. Right. Because you know that I have what it takes to succeed. Right. And what am I going to do with that right. gift? That's true. What am I going to make happen as a result of it? It has, like I said, the potential to be amazing. I think it has the potential to be amazing. In everything that we do, 
We try to be sure that our, our students feel our love and respect for them. And even in this building, two summers ago, we renovated the gymnasium. And on the first day of school, one of our students, David, came in and saw the space and started spinning, singing A Whole New World. So if the renovation of a gymnasium can do that, imagine what a brand new building that's built just for them can do.